um, probably one of those lifestyles that more wild than I think uh, what I've been through. Yeah. Um, so they've already had their moment. Now tell me about your tattoos because they, they're quite sort of different. You've got you've got Jesus. Yeah. And now you have a new one. Yeah. She's giving me a run for my money. Clearly. Oh please, I am not. <laughs> um, I have I have uh, stockings on, so you can't really see it, but I have. A little strawberry I got there, um, just kind of commemorate one of the boys. You know, this past year and a half has been like insane, and you know, I'm happy I've survived it. And um, you know, I really uh, <clears throat> feel like this record really superseded my expectations. Um, it's been amazing. Like I didn't think I would be all around the world in one year, mm. um, going you know from like Russia to. Tokyo to, you know, Australia to everywhere in the United States and in Europe and, and just have so much success with this record has been, you know, beyond what I kind of planned. And you're never really ready for this type of thing. And so mm. it was kind of like getting a tattoo would, would, would kind of be like to remember the first time because there's nothing like the way up, you know, that's what everybody says. And then when you're on top, you only have room to go down. <laughs> yeah. Not that that's going to happen necessarily, but um, uh, you know, the the when you're first coming up, it's it's really kind of just like a, an amazing feeling, and you know, you're feeling everything for the first time and meeting all these people and stuff. Yeah. When I see that now, I think of the giant matching strawberries that you gave me, and right, yeah. these huge like inflatable matching strawberries. Is mine better than Rove's? Uh, it's it's actually the, with more it's the same. Damn it. Uh, sorry, but they, <laughs> you know I give those out every night at my concerts, and uh, uh, they're like a hundred dollars each. And like kids actually love stealing my props, and and I and I also come out in a cat suit sometimes after for the encore, and so they love taking my tail off. I mean, I I leave sometimes uh, a country, and I have no strawberries, no tail for my cat suit. No kitty ears. Um, I have like a whole get up. But I, I guess that's what I get for like throwing myself into the audience if they rape me of all my possessions. <laughs> well, I remember I, I saw you at the, in the Melbourne show and you had one of the girls come up on stage. A yeah. ranger. A ranger. Rang, a rang yeah. She was crazy. <laughs> she was awesome. She yeah. was dancing hard off that whole time. But then you gave her that giant strawberry and then she had to go back into the crowd and you could just tell the whole crowd was like merging towards it. Yeah. I was scared of her, for her life. For her life. Like, someone is going to take that strawberry home. I think there's some on eBay. I, I think I'm going to quit strawberries soon, though, so steal them while you can, kids. <laughs> uh, another thing I, I've read recently is that Madonna's a really big fan of yours. Are you a fan of Madonna's? Oh, naturally, of course. Um, she really gave me such a big push in the beginning of my career. Um, like, right before my ship was set to sail, she, like, kind of gave me this send-off that I really needed because, you know, Madonna's Madonna, and when she talks, I think the people listen. Mm. And um, she liked one of my songs, and she knew my first and last name, which was totally weird. Yeah. And uh, she, you know, she kind of gave me what I call the champagne send-off that I needed. Your boyfriend is Travis McCoy from Gym Class Heroes. Yeah. And um, when you first came out and you had I Kissed a Girl hit, I noticed, okay, I've seen this girl before. And you're actually in his Cupid's Chokehold video yes. where you're the girl in the end that he falls in love with and stays in love with. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah. But isn't it a bit risky to show your love publicly in a video? Well, our love was not solidified in that video necessarily. I mean, we were crushing on each other most definitely. But At that point? At that point. But I'd known him before that for quite a while. Um, we, uh, you know... We kind of live freely, and I've always lived very freely. And, um, you know, people talk and say things and make headlines. And, you know, if it's not from, like, a very um, amazing journalist or Time magazine, then, you know, or me or, you know, someone that I've kind of uh, said, okay, you can make a statement for me or whatever, you always have to take it with a, um, a, a, a grain of salt or, you know, it's always to be, um, some of those things are misinformed, but um, I think, you know, as far as living, a lot of things are personal and private, Yeah. but it's obvious that we like each other. Yeah, <laughs> but when you see like Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, Jenny from the Block video, aren't you like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing? 
Um, <laughs> because come on, it is embarrassing that it, they made a whole guess, video together. <laughs> I guess it is, but we, that's the thing. I didn't make a whole video with him, and um, the story behind that was kind of, you know, we like each other, but we weren't like engaged to. Okay, so you know, it wasn't maybe as risky for you because it was. Relaxed. Yeah, we're friends, and he asked me to be in the video, so it was like a course. Okay, will you use him in one of, of one of your videos sometime? Maybe that could um, be fun. I don't know. I don't have any plans to as of yet, but uh, whatever if he fits the part, yeah, maybe. But I think that it's nice to try all kinds of different things. And yeah, I get to have you know a different love interests or whatever. Yeah. How much can you decide in your music video, like your new one for Hot and Cold, mm -hmm. which we're going to see soon, I guess. Did you have much uh, artistic direction in that one? Oh, I have artistic direction in every corner to a point where I have ulcers. Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, you know, for Hot and Cold is just a fun, lighthearted, you know, goofy side of me, which I really wanted to show. and. Uh, for a, another music video coming up um, in the future, future is uh, Thinking of You, and I'm currently writing that one to, you know, every shot, every scene, and um, I know really? exactly so who's... so you get to do that. You must have a good team behind you to trust you. Because yeah, I do, because... This is kind of your debut, like your mainstream yeah. debut, and not a lot of people get to do that before, like, second or third album. Well, I think that um, they trusted me in a lot of things, and... Um, I know who I am because it's me. I live in this skin, and uh, I have a really strong vision. And um, for a long time, I never had that respect, and never had that trust. And um, to yourself? Well, from uh, like record labels yeah. or other people that were saying you should be like this girl or be like you know some other artist, and I'd be like. But I know what I want to do. I, I might have to carve out my own path, but let me just start. And so it took um, up until now for people to really respect my vision. And um, uh, it's been successful somewhat thus far. And so they're letting me do my thing. Yeah, that until it, so much until fun. Until I fall flat on my face, then they'll be like, oh, maybe we'll <laughs> try something else. But, you know, no one makes me sing or no one, you know, pushes a button and says, dance, monkey, dance. I dance on my own. <laughs> Okay, good. Well, that leads me to your style because I'm thinking, do you work with a stylist for your look? It's all put together. You said you had a makeup artist. Yeah. Um, I I do work with a stylist at home who is amazing. Um, we've worked together for many years. Really? And yeah. But I think that's only because uh, we work together because I don't have time to go shopping anymore. <laughs> I might have time today to go somewhere. I'm trying okay. to fit it in. Usually, usually it's okay. You can yeah, go yeah. shopping. Usually here, yeah. they're like, okay, you have two and a half hours. Go. And it's like um, they have this show in the States called Supermarket Suite where everybody, <laughs> I don't know if you know about that, um, everybody uh, you know, goes to the grocery carts and they're putting in all of the expensive items and whoever can make the biggest bill you know, wins. And that's me when I'm shopping. I'm not the most expensive items, but I'm always just like shopping and putting things in and you know, uh, not trying things on. And if it doesn't fit, whoop, they're for a friend now. <laughs> but, um, lucky friends. Yeah, mm. lucky friends. But I, I definitely like, I've dressed myself forever and I sometimes I, I see things where people are like oh she got a stylist I'm like no I bought that for myself okay <laughs> I dress myself I still you know wipe my own butt but it <laughs> is important myself. it is important to dress properly and do you have like all girls have that thing if they're not dressed uh, in a way that they feel comfortable they can be in a bad mood and like oh, oh, yeah. I hate these jeans and I don't feel beautiful today and yeah you have that too you look great thank and, you <laughs> and I know you probably feel great and I I definitely use my mood to kind of reflect how I'm feeling and yeah today I woke up and I was like I know it's turning into fall but I want to be a flower you are on a promotional tour right now yeah performing doing interviews mm -hmm. in Europe how do you like Europe I love Europe I love being over here um, I like watching the seasons change in Europe than being you know in Germany and in Paris and in London I mean that's all a girl ever could want and uh, the days are long, and the work is a lot, but um, the benefits are really good. <laughs> yeah, and you have several sold-out concerts. That must be an amazing feeling. Yeah, um, we get to play here and there all around 
and um, we're just kind of testing the waters and seeing what people, um, how they respond and if they're going to come. And I guess they are coming because it's uh, sold out, which is cool. And the venues are very intimate for right now. And next year we'll have more of a production and um, maybe a little bit of a bigger venue. But for right now, it's the it's the um, promotion of the record and the diehard fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can have a bigger show next year. Oh yeah. Okay. So your show right now is like right about the music and not so it's much about, about the, the show. It's about the music and it gives the opportunity for you know people that are coming to critique and the journalists to uh, see it without strings or props mm. and say okay it's uh, either black and white either it's good or it's bad and uh, they all walk away pretty satisfied which is thumbs great. up. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. Have you been to Europe before? Yes. I okay, have. so you're not just an American girl who's like, <gasps> first time in Europe. No, I'm always prepared for every situation, <laughs> <laughs> at least of late. <laughs> Sometimes I'm caught off guard, but not usually or typically. Okay, but you're good at traveling. Uh-huh. Well, I have a lot of luggage, but I'm good. Okay, and how many people do you have in your team traveling with you? Who's the team behind you? Um, I have about 14 right now. Really? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Because, you know, some people go out and do promotional stuff and um, they do it to like a track or just to a backing tape. And I would never want to do that because it's not exactly what, um, how I want to be presented. So I brought my full band. I brought um, some technical people that come and do sound and make sure the mics are working and things like that. And I have a tour manager, um, I have my sister out here with me, Great. helping me, which is nice. Um, she's my older sister, so she's always kind of been like a mom. How much older? A lot? Two or years. Two years. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I have my manager out with me on this run because he just wants to see how, you know, everything is going. But he's, he's the most important guy, isn't he? Like to have him around? Um, yes. I mean, he's the most important guy in the whole system. Um, but I think that my uh, tour manager, my band, everybody, I can't actually be without any of them. <laughs> it all kind of works together. You know, everybody is, um, I have a makeup artist out, which is a luxury. Yeah. I've never had that before, which is really nice. That's ni a nice thing when you're a girl to feel it's beautiful. It's nice when day. you're a girl and, um, you know, usually you're um, asking people to come uh, in different cities and stuff like that and oh my gosh I have to tell you that I, I had that um, a lot um, when I was doing other promotion in the States but I'd have different people every day and sometimes I would look like a drag queen yeah. <laughs> and some days I would look uh, you know it was just every day was a challenge because it was new people and I mean bless their hearts they they did their best but some of them were horrible Really? And blue eyeshadow and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it was like, can I just want a little of this? And then I would turn around in the chair and I'd be like, ah! <laughs> and it would be time to go <laughs> and time to do the interview. And I, would, I had, I would, there would be nothing I could do. And you have to work with it. Yeah. And people would just think, oh my God, that girl and her makeup. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> Um, how does it feel that people overanalyze your lyrics? Because when you sing You're So Gay, I just think it's a fun song, but some people take it so seriously and a lot of gays are angry at you and feel really... I know you try to explain that you don't mean anything bad by your songs, but does it make you think a lot that people overanalyze you? Um, I mean, I'm never going around putting out fires that other people start and I never feel like I have to explain myself. I think when people ask me this question, I just answer it with, obviously they don't get the joke. And, um, you know, I think there's a certain certain type of person that is always going to be offended by everything in life. You yeah. know, it's like when the Teletubbies come out, the purple one is a big scene. And we're like, it's just a purple Teletubby. Yeah. And everybody wants to have this kind of conspiracy and, you know, play doctor with the song. I think uh, some of those people have personal issues. I think... Um